What is up Outdoor Mavericks? Welcome to the finale of the 10 for 10 tour. We are here at East Lake Resort and this is a really special place for me in my fishing history because it's the first place I ever went fishing as a kid. And out here we were chasing East Lake rainbow trout with power bait, garlic in particular. And it was one of the fondest memories I can remember and what got me into fishing. And it's just fitting that we end today's 10 for 10 tour right here at East Lake where it all began for me from my fishing career. So let's get out of the water and finish the finale of the 10 for 10 tour. All right, Mavericks, this is it. East Lake, this is where it all started when I was a kid, fishing in my grandfather's boat out here with my little life vest on. This is where I started fishing for the very first time. And it has been probably 25 plus years since I've been here. And I have looked forward to this day for a long time to come back here and fish here and think about grandpa, think about where I started fishing and bringing Richie out here. We're gonna slay some trout today. Maybe some kokanee, maybe some rainbows, who knows? Ready for this? A little nighttime action? Let's do it. Let's do it. We got worms, corn, and the whole shebang. All right. Now we're back in the game. Okay, here we go. First time fishing East Lake in years. All right, guys, little evening here in East Lake. And here's what we're starting with. We're just trolling with a little Rapala, a little trout, trout plug with a little bit of weight to get it down. And then, then we got a little lake troll and wedding ring action. Feels like home. This is where I grew up fishing. This is where it all started. This is where we're gonna make them some magic happen. And then for second one, they said hot pink wedding ring with some corn. So that's what I got. I think the first time I came here to East Lake was in 1992 was the first time. And my grandparents were with us, my parents were with us. My brother was probably less than a year old and I got to go out fishing on grandpa's boat for the very first time. And that's my first fishing memory is that photo of me sitting by the East Lake truck and thinking like, I'm just so freaking cool. Then we used to come here every so often during the summer, a couple years after that. And it was just our getaway. We got to the Bend Sun River area and this is one of the lakes my grandfather just loved to be at. And so this is just what we fished. Fished uh, for trout. We may have fished for kokanee. I don't remember catching brown trout out of here, but I probably have it once in a while. And that's how my fishing route started, was just, was here, is this lake. And this is why we're ending the series here and wanting to just go back to the roots and think about like why I got into fishing and why I loved it. And part of it was, I just leave it being outdoors. I love just hanging out with people. I love the camaraderie and I love just yelling fish on and, and just the, the joy that fish gave, the fishing gave me when I was younger and trying to replicate that here on this last, this last hoorah of the trip, so, so to say. Oh, there's a fish. Got one. Got something. Got something. I think that's fish. Feels like something. About 35. You're 35 out. 35 out with one ounce. Okay. Richie, you got that? Yep. What do we got? Could be anything at this point, guys. What is it? What, could what it be? is it? What could it be? Come on, please don't get off there. Oh, it's still on there, whatever it is. Grab the net, grab the net. Oh, I think it's kokanee. It is, it's a East Lake kokanee. Baby up. Just lift it up. Did you get it? Hey! <laughs> Success! There we go! My first East Lake fish in over 20 something years. Woo! Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. My first East Lake fish in 20 something years. Nice little kokanee. Look at that. Starting off the East Lake fishing strong. Pink sling blade. Look at that on the pink. Let's go. Wow, a lot of fish between seven and nine right here. Let's go. Let's have ourselves a day. This is gonna be hot again. Oh, I got another one. Here we go. Got another one. 45 out. This one's got a little bit more tug to him. This might be a rainbow. This one might be a rainbow. Is he still there? Uh-oh. I say uh-oh, because I don't know if he's there still. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we have? I do have one on. Yeah, let me grab the net. I think it's a trout. No, that's a kokanee. Let's get him in. 
Scoop him in. <laughs> it's on fire. Are you using white corn? White corn, baby. <laughs> Just like the lady at the tackle shop said. Here we go, guys. Simple setup tonight. Just a little wedding ring, pink, and some white corn. I think we'll try some pink corn in a little bit. Big fish at five. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. You're gonna know it's gonna be a bigger trout bite than it's gonna it's gonna keel over, I think. Oh, there's another one. Oh, what was that? I think you might have a fish. We ran through just a big school right back there. Dude, it's a low, the graph, five to eight feet right now. There's what, 20 fish on the graph. You got one? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Nice, Rich. It's a weird looking fish. Brown on the top. Oh, it's a brownie. No, oh, no, no, it's a kokanee. Haha, <laughs> scared you. What? Come on. I'm trying. Get it over here. Quit letting him dive. Bro, get him in the net. <laughs> You only have one? All right, little guy, we're gonna send you on your way. Crap, I crossed your line. God. That's you for sure? No, nope, that's a fish. All right, well, we're... No, it's... no, you got a fish. You got a fish. There we go. A little kokanee. I'll take that. Actually, yeah, that's a kokanee. Unless you want me to get that. No. Aren't you with his first, second kokanee? Good work, my dude. I think those are trout. I think those are our trout. Look at the difference between the... Those are trout, kokanee. Those are trout. I'm just an idiot. Hey, what can I say? I bring the entertainment. You do. Trust me, you bring it, baby. You bring it. Okay, that's a kokanee. The other one's for trout. I'm just... I'm having a moment. Ugh. Call myself an angler. I can't identify fish. You know what it is. The that good thing about you is you can take it on the chin. And that nap. That nap wasn't long enough. I'm just. <laughs> I'm having a mo I'm having a uh, fishing moment here. I'm just excited. I'm I at the. It. I'm, I'm at this place. I'm excited too. Well, and you get to catch a rainbow trout with me, trolling. We've already got three of them. Oh, four of them. We let one go. You get to catch a trout with me here, which is oh, like no, no. amazing. You know what? One of those was yours. You're right. One I did. Was yours. So I did you, catch one. I let mine, go, my little kokanee go. So I caught. A so I officially caught a kokanee and a, kokanee and a rainbow, rainbow trout. My East Lake rainbow trout. There you go. Ah, that feels so good. Light blue to dark blue. Look at that. Just absolute picturesque. What? I just got a hit on that one. Did you? Yeah. It just went mm -hmm. dunk? Unless it was... I'm fishing eight and nine feet and 10 feet right here, 14. There you go. I'm gonna keep it straight. Keep going, buddy. Nice. What you got? Oh, we got little, something. Little trout. Little trout on the plug. Or you no, put... On a spinner. Spinner, you just put it out? Yeah. Might be a spinner bite tonight. Okay, hang on. Oh, got oh, no! Okay. We wanted that for the fall, oh, dude! We'll school it between five and eight right there. Oh, there's one. I got one. I got one. You're right in front of the camera. Oh, no! Of course. Richie! In front of the cameras, I've got a fish on, of course. <laughs> dude, bro! Bro! What are you doing? Well, bro, I'm getting you shot. Oh, come off. Oh, did it? Yeah. It. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, my gosh. One jumped behind the boat. It was huge. Behind our boat? Oh, it was like a six pounder. Behind our boat? Yeah, right behind your line. I heard it. Oh, my I God. That it. was ginormous. The cloud is right behind the sun. I was hoping we'd get a little bit of warmth from it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you got one? Fish? Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, he's there? Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Okay, I'll reel mine in. Good job, Rich. Last pass. Easy, buddy. Easy, partner. What do you got? A little trout. Let's see if we can identify this one properly. There we go. That's a little rainbow. Bud. Woo. All right. 
Let him back. Let him back nice and smooth. Later, dude. The light eating rainbow here on East Lake. Last pass. We just made the turn. Richie got one. We're just making our final way towards the resort. Then we are going to head back to the cabin and uh, get ready for a uh, final few hours tomorrow when we get out here and chase some kokanee, some rainbows, and hopefully, hopefully, maybe we'll get a brown. They've been a little bit tough, but who knows? If you ain't fishing, you ain't going to catch one. Oh, there you go. Again. God, that spinner, man. That spinner is killing it. Nice job, Rich. Good driving, Will. Nice job. Great job, Will. Nice driving. Get him in the net and oh you're just gonna you're just gonna boat flip him, huh? I mean. <laughs> watch your, watch the hooks. Right there. That's what we've been using tonight. Little Panther Martin. <laughs> Oh, I, I think after that dunk, we should call it. All right, I'm in. Two fish on the last pass is pretty special right there. Uh, nice work. Nice work, Cap. Nice job, buddy. Let's go, uh, let's get in and go eat some fish. if I take my sunglasses off to see down to the water. Good morning, Mavericks. It is the final day of the 10 for 10 tour. We have officially been the first ones on the water here at East Lake. We are chasing some browns early this morning. The sun hasn't even risen over the mountain yet. It's about 4.45 a.m. It's about 4.45 a.m. and we are going after the trophy fish here at East Lake, which are the brown trouts. And then later on, we're gonna fish for some rainbows and some kokanee trolling around. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a brown trout. It's been a little bit slow, what you've heard from the reports, but getting a East Lake brownie, like you're an exclusive good club when you can chase one of those guys. So we're just getting the final rods rigged up. It's an absolute gorgeous morning. We are the first boat out here and it looks juicy. You got rainbows jumping everywhere. Okay, get your rods out. Make ourselves a day today. Morning brownie bite. Oh, I got one already. Oh, wait, what was that? He tapped it. I hit some grass. It's not thumping. I think I hit something. Here we go. Go. Let's go. Chase Brown. We're gonna get after some kokanee and some rainbows. Wait for that first bite. Come on, fish. Let's make a pass all the way through and then you might need to grab the spinners out. We're in the zone. We're seeing marking a ton of fish. Nothing's just really being bitey this morning. All right, let's get this wedding ring out. Oh, there's a fish. There's one. Got one finally. Oh, yes. There we go. My guy. There we go. Finally. Finally a fish. Oh, yep. Finally got one. There he is. In the back there. He's a little, little East Lake rainbow. Hey, yes, let's go. There we go. Nice little fish to start the morning. Oh yeah, it's not a rainbow, but it's a kokanee to start today. Well, East Lake kokanee to start the morning. We'll just throw him back. Not keeping any kokanees. Broke the ice this morning. There we go. Ooh, that felt good. Let's go, guys. Oh, there's a... Oh, what was that? Had something just bite. Drive by. There's fish. Oh, no. Oh, oh that was a fish for sure. 100%. Oh. Just got to get one rainbow. One more rainbow to end the trip. That'd be nice. Just one last rainbow. Oh, oh, come on, really? Oh, oh, oh yes. Last minute fish. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Still be there. 
Oh, please be there still. Oh no. I think he's off. No. Oh. No. Oh my gosh. He was right there. Oh, I let it out. He's right there. I let line out and he's there. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I, I let line out and he, I and he bit it. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Talk about a buzzer beater. <laughs> no way, dude. That was sick. That was sick. Let's go, bro. What a way to end it. Is it a bow? It is a bow. Dude, what a freaking a way to end move. it. All right, guys, East Lake, last seven minutes of the trip, was letting line out, got this nice East Lake rainbow to hit it. We're gonna put him back really quickly, and I gotta say, what an amazing 10 for 10 trip. This has been so cool. We're gonna let this guy go back. Last fish of the trip, buddy. You're special, thank you. You gotta go. There he goes. What a way to wrap up an amazing nine to 10 days of fishing. We started out catching smallmouth. We ended up catching East Lake trout, which was the first fish that I ever caught. And it's just simply an amazing adventure. And just to say, when you have your roots, go back, remember why you're out fishing, remember why it's fun, why you love fishing in general and that's why we're wrapping up this series here because it's just it it's an accumulation of everything that i've done in fishing and just pursuing crazy ideas not going after target species target locations it's about coming up with an idea and just go executing it and pushing yourself mentally physically and bringing friends along for just the ride in terms of the craziness it's been an awesome 10 lakes of fishing and hopefully we got a little bit of time to reflect on how awesome this trip was over the next uh, you know, weeks, days, months, years, or whatever, but an amazing way to cap off the 10 for 10 series with a East Lake rainbow trout letting line out for an amazing trip. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.